Welcome to the training facility where you will be introduced to the basics of the Pangea Knockback League. To familiarize yourself with the full range of motion of your official Pangean Knockback League, press the space bar to jump or twice to double jump if you want to make The Knockback player is given three weapons. The Ball Zooka, Scatter Snipe, and my personal favorite, the Clobber Tar. Each weapon has unique advantages and disadvantages. Except the Clobber Tar. It's perfect. Oh. Left click the mouse to fire your weapon. If you're equipped with the Ball Zooka or Scatter Snipe, you can charge the weapon by holding down the left mouse button and release it. All knockback contestants are outfitted with a Biological Orientation Navigational Engine System, or BONES for short. BONES provides a jet that boosts you forward in any direction. You can activate it by pressing the shift key. Tired of getting shot? Want to get shot somewhere else? Use the right click button to grapple to any location. Release to turn the grapple off. We will provide you with a simulated knockback player in order to test your skills against. We can't use the word dummy because we have been informed it's politically correct. This concludes the knockback tutorial. Thank you for taking the time to complete it. You are now 100% more likely to win knockback against somebody who has never played knockback. The Benjamin Knockback League is not responsible for any physical trauma or harm that may have concurred during your testing. TF Pan Black Rock Humans Cretaceville Crowns Gentlemen, it's not guns and pop nuts ready, folks. It's time for some knockback. A rather grounded competition so far, contestants looking to stay flat footed. Well, for good reason. If you're in the air, it's either you're getting shot around, or you're about to be. Indeed, skilled footwork is often overlooked in this game. Agility of this caliber while hauling all that equipment, well, it certainly can't be easy. Especially considering the Balzuka's rolling nature was made precisely to keep opponents off their feet. Seeing more and more players switching from their preferred weapons. A change of focus, maybe? Well, of course, everyone is going to have a preference, but when it comes down to a choice between using your favorite and winning the match, I think we all know the answer everyone would pick. Yes, but all the tactics in the world can't account for bad aim. Will our contestants prove the statisticians wrong? Good hustle, good hustle down there with a grapple boost combo. Honestly, your best chance when you're in the air like that. Normally, you would think that being in the air would make you... And the contestants are landing on the field and weapons live. Our contestants enter the field, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you, you better hope those pod launchers are aimed correctly or E-section parking is going to have a bad day, all right. We got ourselves a cowardly camper here. If he could hit something, he'd be a threat, but sadly, the only thing he's nailing is how to be a nuisance. Yes, all it takes is a well-placed Balzuka to the back and boom! Not gonna be camping for much longer. Heck, takes advantage of the stationary target and unloads some tar onto them. One shot is dangerous, but all seven rounds? <laughs> like making a constellation pattern while on your way out. I personally can't stand the smell. Have you used it? Into the crowd he goes! The dino who catches the next one gets a free drink!
Hey, pick me up some pop nuts while you're out there. <laughs>